Hey friends, welcome to Minimalese. On this channel, I'd like to talk about decluttering and minimizing and living your best life. So today's video is a one of 12 videos. I'm gonna be doing a video every day where I'm going to be decluttering a different section of my house. The way that I'm gonna do this is pretty methodical. So I was looking on a blog that I like to follow called Making Lemonade. And on that blog, she has this awesome list of like all the different categories that Marie Kondo talks about when she's decluttering. Kondo, you're so crazy. I'm... And it also talks about like specific things that are in each category. So today is video number one. And one of the big things that Marie Kondo always talks about is going through your clothes first. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take out all of my clothing and I'm gonna put them on the bed. I'm also gonna be going through my husband's clothing and putting them on the bed. And instead of actually getting rid of them, I'm gonna put them over to the side for him so that he has a quick opportunity to go through clothes that um, either he's told me in the past are getting old and he doesn't necessarily want them or their clothes that I'm noticing are getting very worn and he might wanna get rid of them anyway. I'm doing this because when it comes to my husband, he doesn't really like decluttering and he doesn't enjoy it um, in the same way that I do. I hate that too. Exactly. I, hate that. I hate that too. And so I'm just trying to slimline the process and make it a little easier for him because I know he's always very busy. Um, on a side note, I am also doing these videos with another fellow YouTube friend. Her name is Jen and she is at the YouTube channel uh, Happily Organized Chaos. So I'm gonna link her YouTube below if you are interested in learning more about decluttering, especially this month where we are accumulating and getting things and um, you might start feeling overwhelmed. I'm gonna be doing these 12 days and so is she and so you can kind of watch someone to get you a little inspiration before the real holiday season starts. So if you enjoy videos about decluttering and minimizing, please remember to hit that subscribe button and you'll get my next video which is coming out tomorrow. All right, so to start out with, you can see I brought two bags. The bigger one is gonna be for the clothes that I'm sure we're getting rid of, and the smaller brown paper bag are the clothes I'm gonna pull out for my husband to look at. When he... Okay, so these are our piles. This one up front is obviously mine, and then this is my husband's in the back. And the kind of nice thing, so I've never done this before, the kind of nice thing is that either we are like right on track and have just about the same amount of clothes, or he might have more than me. I don't know, his pile looks a little bigger than mine. I might actually just go through and count our clothing and see who has less. Because that would be freaking amazing if I had less clothes than him. That's never happened. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go through our piles real quick. That's the bag that's just for my husband's stuff. If um, I think anything he'd be willing to get rid of, I'm going to put it in there so he can just have an easy access to it and decide quickly. And then over here, hi, man. What did you do, JJ? Hi. I'm going to put um, the stuff that I know for sure that I don't want in this bag. Let's go. You got this? with my own clothes. I haven't started my husband's yet. And it's taking longer than I expected, I think because I am just so emotionally attached to my clothes, which is ridiculous, because they're just something that I use. I feel like a lot of times as people, sometimes we get our identity from our clothing, and- I love your stylish clothes. One of those things, it's like just a part of me, but what I'm really trying to remember in my mind is, one, does it spark joy, because that's Marie Kondo's thing, and then two, do I enjoy wearing it? And have I worn it a lot? 
And when I do wear it, do I feel confident? And I feel like those four things, if I can bring those four things together, I always have an outfit I love. And that is something that having less clothes has really helped me find the answers to those four questions. And it's been really nice because I feel like most days when I leave the house, um, I feel very comfortable in what I'm wearing. Um, but there are still things that creep in that I either um, think I'm gonna love and I don't use, and so those things need to go. And so I do have several things in my bag and I'm not quite done. So I'm gonna finish, there's a few things that I think I still need to try on just to see if I really am ready to get rid of them. Um, and then I'm going to go through everything that's in the bag. So you will see it all and I will give you some explanations of my thought process and why I'm getting So for my husband and his bag of things that I think he's ready to get rid of, but I'm gonna let him check, um, is a sweatshirt that he's been complaining about and he really wants a new one. And so I think he's ready to let that go if we can find a new one. And then um, just a few older t-shirts that are kind of worn out and aren't looking so good anymore. Um, one, two, three, four. Five. He's definitely, like my husband is definitely a t-shirt guy, so he always gets t-shirts all the time and he just hangs on to them, which is totally understandable. But um, they do wear out, and so I'm gonna see if he's ready to get rid of those. If not, it's fine. Um, he has plenty of room now in his drawers for a few more. And then my stuff, let's see. Got rid of a pair of leggings. I think two bathing suit tops that I've just been hanging on to. The hard thing about bathing suits is like, it's hard to find one that really fits. And so if you, well, okay, let me talk personally. If I find one that I feel like even fits a little bit, I'll be like, okay, well, I'll just keep it. Like this is probably the best I can get. But is that really what we want for bathing suits? No, I deserve better. <laughs> um, I got a new sweatshirt, so this one's gonna go. Um, I talked about these two long sleeve turtlenecks. I actually really like them and they're very comfortable, but this season I have not worn them at all. And I think I'm getting more into just like enjoying looser clothing. And so these are pretty tight and I'm not, gravi I'm not gravitating towards them anymore. Um, I also have this white shirt, which is kind of funny. So I have a friend and one day she looked at me in this shirt and she's like, wow, you just look so skinny. And it made me feel so good that I hung on to this shirt for like way too long. It's actually kind of probably too tight and doesn't feel that good. But because that one person made one comment about it, like I'm still hanging on to it. So um, I'm ready to let this go. <laughs> it was, you know, one person saying ni one nice thing about me one time um, and I can let it go because it's not in the shirt. And I just don't really like that shirt that much anyway. Um, and then I'm actually getting rid of one of my blazers. I think the problem with this one is that it's a little too tight in the arms and I was even trying to wear it today. So I am gonna be on the lookout for another black blazer because I really like black blazers. But this one is just slightly too tight under the arms. And so every time I wear like a sweater under it, um, I'm not comfortable. And so I really wanna find one that I love and that I'm really drawn to because today I wanted to wear it and then I was like, ugh, I'll be uncomfortable. And I'm just, I'm not about being uncomfortable. Um, and then the shirt I already talked about, another long sweater that um, I just didn't love. I got another blazer that I like a lot better, so I haven't been wearing it. And then a long sleeve jean button up and this striped shirt. So that is it. And that's pretty good. I filled a whole bag and I really did not think I was going to be able to. Um, I really thought like I have very min minimal on my clothes and I'm not gonna have anything. Well, look at that. Thank you, Marie Kondo. <laughs> None of these things actually spark me much joy. They all have some issues. Like parts of them bring me joy. Like I love this color or 
I love how long this sweater is, but overall, I don't love it. And so I think that's where we, talking about myself, get confused between um, like settling and something sparking joy. Like I could settle for all of these clothes and they're fine. There's nothing actually wrong with them except for like maybe they're a little tight or maybe it's cut a little short. Um, but in this point in my journey, I'm like, why am I settling? I don't need to settle. I actually have a full um, wardrobe of clothes that I love. So all of them spark joy now and they all look really good in there. So I'm very excited. If you have enjoyed this video, remember there's another one coming out tomorrow and the day after and the day after and the day after for 12 days of decluttering. And I really wanna get you guys inspired because I know Christmas is coming up. I know we have family coming over. I know we have parties and people giving us stuff, whether we want it or not. And um, that should not be stressful for you. Um, inviting people over to your house should not be stressful for you because you should be able to walk into your house and it should be a joy to walk into. So I hope you've enjoyed this and hopefully my next video and I will see you tomorrow.